Hello friends, today I will discuss about CT polarity and impact of CT polarity reverse in energy meter reading. Mainly I will discuss about three phase forward system energy meter. So friends, before going through this video, you are requested to please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel if not subscribed earlier and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. So in this diagram, a three phase four wire energy meter has been shown. Here uh, three phase four wire means uh, four wire in terms of voltage uh, input that is it uh, the voltage input is uh, red, yellow, blue and neutral. That is why it is called four wire system. And there exists another system that is three phase three wire system. In case of three phase three wire system only red, yellow and blue phase voltage input is taken and uh, only red and blue phase uh, CT secondary input is taken to the energy meter. This is the three phase four wire system and uh, this S1 and S2 is the red phase uh, current coil for energy meter and this S1 and S2 is the yellow phase current coil for uh, energy meter and this S1 and S2 is the blue phase uh, current coil for energy meter that is AR, AY, AB and these are the VR, VY, VB and VN. So uh, the CT primary connection has been shown here that is P1 shall be connected towards the bus side and P2 shall be connected towards the line side or feeder side for feeder and for transformer P1 shall be connected towards the uh, bus side and P2 shall be connected towards the transformer side. So for feeder uh, load will flow from P1 to P2 side and for transformer uh, for incoming the load will flow from P2 to P1 side. So the S1 shall be connected towards the S1 terminal of the red, yellow and blue phase respectively and S2 shall be connected uh, for the red, yellow and blue phase S2 terminal in the energy meter otherwise the polarity of the uh, CT will be reverse. So the phasor diagram has been shown considering the power factor angle as theta uh, this uh, and balance supply uh, VR, VY, VB are the uh, voltage phasor and IR, IY, IB are the current phasor. For um, current flowing in the P1 to P2 direction in, in the primary side of the PT, secondary side the current will flow from S2 to S1. And if the current flows from P1 to P2 to P1 direction in the primary side, then there will be a 180 degree phase shift in the secondary side. So here consider here uh, the feeder connection for the energy meter and current is flowing from P1 to P2 direction. So the total energy for time t is given by uh, red phase voltage into y uh, red phase current into uh, power factor uh, cosine between power factor angle that is cos theta. Similarly for y phase vy iy into cos theta and similarly for blue phase uh, vb ib and uh, cos theta. So total energy is equal to uh, sum of the three phase uh, power uh, into time uh, t. t is the time in hour. So as the it is a balanced three phase supply so we can write this vr is, is equal to v at an angle 0 degree and vy is equal to v at an angle minus 120 degree and vb is equal to v at an angle plus 120 degree similarly ir uh, is equal to i at an angle 0 degree iy is equal to i at an angle minus 120 degree and ib is equal to i at an angle 120 degree so three phase energy comes as uh, 3 into vi uh, into cos theta into t. Uh, now consider the case when any of the phase CT polarity reverse in case of energy meter reading. Here uh, the red phase CT polarity is reverse. That is uh, the S1 terminal of the CT secondary side is connected to the S2 terminal of the red phase coil of the energy meter and S1 terminal of the energy meter is connected to the S2 terminal. So due to this, what will be impact in the energy meter reading? So the phasor diagram has been shown, uh, red, yellow and blue phase voltage uh, and the red phase polarity is reverse. That is why the red phase uh, uh, phasor will be 
180 degree apart that is now red phase phasor comes as in this side and for yellow and blue it was at earlier cases so the three phase energy meter reading that is it is is equal to vr into ir in the cosine between angle between phase, current phasor and voltage phasor that is 180 degree plus theta plus vy into iy into cos theta plus vb into ib into cos theta into time period t now cos 180 degree plus theta is, is, is equal to minus cos theta that is why it comes as minus vr iy into cos theta plus vy iy into cos theta plus vb ib into cos theta into t so as it is a balanced phase supply we can write uh, vr is equal to vy is equal to uh, vb is equal to uh, v as the magnitude of all the phase voltage is same and again the current magnitude is same for all the phase current so we can write uh, for red phase uh, power uh, is equal to vi cos theta that is minus vi cos theta now and for yellow phase it is plus vi cos theta and for blue phase it is vi cos theta into t t is the time period so the total energy comes as vi cos theta into t which is equal to one third of the uh, energy meter reading uh, in case of city polarity of the all the cities is connected properly so in case of uh, any city polarity is strongly connected uh, re in reverse polarity then the total energy meter reading count will be one third of the actual energy meter uh, now consider in the case the city polarity of all the cities has been reversed uh, and what will be the impact of the energy meter reading so for red yellow and blue phase uh, the secondary side of the s1 terminal are connected to the s2 terminal of uh, energy meter of red yellow and blue phase respectively and similarly for s2 terminal of red yellow blue phase secondary is connected to the uh, s1 terminal of the red yellow and blue phase respectively of the energy meter so the phasor diagram has been shown uh, the voltage phasor will be remain same but for the current phasor for red yellow and blue phase uh, will be 180 degree apart uh, as it in case of earlier so this is the now red phase uh, phasor and yellow phase phasor and this is the blue phase phasor so the total energy reading that is e dash is equal to uh, sum of the three phase power into time t so red phase power comes as vr into ir in a cosine between angle between voltage phasor and current phasor that is 180 degree plus uh, theta and again for yellow phase it is uh, voltage phasor into current phasor into cosine between angle between voltage and current phasor that is 180 degree plus theta again, again for blue phase it is pb into ib into cosine 180 degree plus theta to time t so as cos 180 degree plus theta is equal to minus cos theta so for red phase it comes as uh, minus pr i r into cos theta again for yellow and blue phase it comes as minus by uh, i i uh, cos theta and minus pb i b cos theta as it is a balanced three phase supply so we can write uh, the magnitude of all the voltage phasor is same and again the magnitude of the current phasor is same so we can write uh, minus vi cos theta for red phase again for yellow phase it is minus vi cos theta again for blue phase it is minus vi cos theta into time t so the total energy comes as minus t vi cos theta into t which is minus c that is if the city polarity of all the cities is reversed in the energy meter connection then uh, it will be the energy consumption will be reversed that is in terms of uh, exporting of the power it will import power and that um, that will lead to uh, huge uh, loss of the utility of the uh, energy meter connection so for energy meter connection the city polarity shall be properly connection again 
the face token shall be proper um, as per the uh, face provided in the energy meter connection diagram to get the maximum uh, energy as per uh, actual energy import or export uh, to the feeder or the transformer 